in terms of anti-war uh, painting of the 20th century, there's actually another Picasso painting that I've always been more personally affected by. It's called something like Massacre in Korea. And uh, have you seen this? I'm just looking it up. Now. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's actually based wow. on. It's based on a, a, a Goya painting of of an execution. But the imagery in is it called Massacre in Korea in in it translation? Is, yeah. yeah. So th the imagery there to me is even more uh, powerful and striking and i don't even remember i keep saying striking i'm being <laughs> okay. struck uh i don't even remember how big it is i don't think it's as big as Guernica. it's not a, a mural like that but uh and i don't know if i've seen it in person either but i always thought like the images of the soldiers are so of course they're abstract and there's cubist elements but they're so brutal I mean the contrast between the the killers and their victims right. is so it's horrifying and beautiful at the same time, you know, like sublime, sublime. Right. So, uh, and no, it's, we, it's it's startling and yeah. it's, it's very striking. It's striking so. and startling. <laughs> let's let's get some let's use some more s words. <laughs> Scary, spooky. Sublime, scentillating. <laughs> Not scintillating. Okay. Uh, no, but anyway, yeah, that's a that's a powerful image as well, for sure. Like that, there's like I'm not looking at it now, but there's like a sword and a and a gun that looks like a fucking alien, you know, spaceship or something, or like a a a laser from the future. Yeah, and the legs are just these huge like. Uh, clubs so you got outreached it, it's like the the uh i'm talking about this as i'm not even looking up looking at it so it's all from memory but it's like technology versus innocence you know mm. horrific uh 